It's Friday, it's a holiday weekend, it's my last week off of work. So what better day to explore and have ourselves a Friday night Fairfax bar crawl. Let's go. Our first stop is in this building here. It used to be Hard Times Cafe, which had the absolute best lunch in Fairfax and the absolute worst smoke-filled bar in Fairfax. And in its place, Capital Ale House. So this right here is their draft beer list. One, two, three, four, five, I think 10,000 beers. We're enjoying an Erringer Weiss beer. This is the Bratwurst and Knockwurst sausage plate. Mm. This Bratwurst is really good. Great little appetizer here. You know my feeling on pickles, but this is on the plate. I think I gotta do it. It didn't taste like a pickle, but... Oh, it tastes like a tree. Awesome start at Capital Ale House. They have probably the biggest beer selection in Fairfax. The thing I like about it, it's not just craft beer. They have a lot of imports as well, which have kind of gone by the wayside. So getting some delicious German Hefeweizen on tap is fantastic. Our next stop on the adventure is down just a few blocks away, passing the real estate building I used to work in, passing the place I got my speeding ticket taken away when I was 16, and to one of the more recent additions to Old Town Fairfax. It's high side. They got tons and tons of craft beer. They've got Taiwanese style street food, and I'm excited, let's check it out. This is the Freshy Bomb IPA. It's out of Virginia Beach. This is the Taiwanese pork belly bao. One thing that's hitting me right now is just a smell of peanuts. It's like a pinball machine of flavor. Peanut, sweet pork, boom, 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 boom. Another awesome food item. That was high side. Super amazed at how awesome that pork belly was. I definitely recommend you stop by there and check that out. All right, forgot my coat at home. My hands are freezing, it's freezing cold. My mouth won't even open anymore. But our next stop is the first brewery ever in the city of Fairfax. It's Chubby Squirrel Brewing Company. Let's go. So I went and ordered the fried cheese curds. I don't even know what cheese curds is. All right, let's try it for the first time ever. All right, they're not bad. I think the sauce was actually what made my face turn that way. All right, they're actually good. That was Chubby Squirrel. The cheese curds were actually pretty good. And now, on to the next. Well, 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 looks like someone has the same view of pickles as me. this building here. First, it was like an under 18 year old club where they just had dancing and sodas. Then at some point it became Club Rain, the number one dance club in Fairfax. And I'm telling you the truth, there was one time a line to get into Club Rain. After Rain, it might've been another thing or two. And now it's reopening once again as Earp's Ordinary. Few feet away over here is what used to be a bar called TT Reynolds, and it was like this tiny little hallway, super small, but this was the greatest bar in the history of Fairfax, Buffalo Wing University. Our next stop, our next stop, 
What's up, DMV Adventures? Our next stop is Ornery Beer Company. Used to be upstairs, now it's downstairs. I don't know what's going on here. Next up, it's pitch black, but we're going to Ald Shabin. And right now, while we walk up to the main entrance, we're walking past the basement. And if you don't know what happens in the basement at Ald Shabin, you don't want to know. used to be bridges. Somebody tried to burn the place down with people living above. After a few iterations later, Patriots Pub. Revolution. PJ Skidoo's. And our final stop for the night, Fire Station Karaoke. 